everyone. See, today we're going to take a look at this uh, Nintendo NES Advantage controller. Uh, you can hook this up to your original NES and you can run two players off of this. You have, you know, one person can play and then when he's done, you know, and whatever. Anyway, this will run both one and two players off of one joystick. If you like this kind of stuff for your NES. Uh, we have the two turbo buttons. Uh, one, two player, select, start, slow, A, which this is why we are going to be looking at this, is because A does not come back. And B. You know, not a whole lot to these. A uh, little, little rusty on the bottom, but not too bad. Nintendo NES Advantage, model number NES-026, 1987 Nintendo, patent pending, made in Taiwan. And there's the serial number. Anybody gives a rat's hoot. Which I know some people do. I'm not making fun of you, it's just that some people kind of kind of like that stuff and they, they can look it up and find out all kind of other stuff about the controller I guess. Me? I don't care. But anyway, I pulled this one out, plugged it in and was going to test it and hit the A button and it was already down so it's not working. I plugged it in to the NES. Uh, the turbo light come on on this one and it didn't matter where I had this, it's just that turbo light was always on. So I don't know what's going on. We are going to pull it apart and take a peek at it and see if we can figure out. I'm kind of hoping that it uh, it's acting weird because the A button is always uh, depressed. It's depressed. Needs an antidepressant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. Okay, enough of the tomfoolery. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the bottom off of this and take a peek and see what it looks like on the inside because I've never had one of these apart so I think it'd be kind of interesting to see what it looks like on the inside anyway and yeah it looks like it might be cracked yeah it's got a crack in it oh well you know you know what they say Crap happens. So even if I do uh, sell it, you know, I have to tell everybody that, you know, it, it's cracked. And, and then it'll, it'll sell accordingly. I don't think these are selling for very much anyway. But I may just fix this one up and get it going to keep for myself for my NES. I'm not a real big fan of joysticks. But I, I would like to mess around and play with a joystick. Ooh, play with your joystick. Yeah, I know. And see if I can't get used to using joysticks. I mean, yeah, whatever. Now I'm rambling. Okay, I'm going to get you set up. And we're going to tear this apart and take a peek at it and see if we can't do something with it. Uh, this may be a quick video because we may get into it and find out that it is totally dumpster food. So I'll get you set up and let's take a look at it and see what it's like on the inside. And you know a lot of this stuff uh, you don't know how it works unless you take it apart. And if somebody tells you you shouldn't take something apart because you don't know how to fix it well you just look at them and tell them I'm taking it apart so maybe I can learn how to fix it. Yeah, as I was saying, I didn't think there was just going to be two two screws holding this whole thing together. That's just not how things were built in the 80s. We built good stuff in the 80s. <laughs> or, well, I should say, well, Taiwan. 
haven't built good stuff in the 80s. I don't know how their stuff is now. But, we never know. But on a more serious note, don't ever be afraid to try and fix something. Don't let anybody try and tell you that you don't know how to fix it so you shouldn't even be opening it up. Well, wow, God, that sucker weighs a ton. That's where all the weights come from. Uh, the thing must weigh a pound. I guess you got to have that weight so you can, so it stays put. But yeah, don't let anybody try and tell you that since you've never fixed anything or fixed any fixed one of these or anything that you're looking at to fix, don't let anybody try and tell you not to do it. Granted, yeah, you'll make mistakes, you'll screw stuff up, uh, you may even screw something up beyond repair, but you tried. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with trying to fix something. This looks like just a big giant... NES controller, except for a few few more buttons and whistles. All right, now I'll bet. Yep, yeah, I'll bet we have to pull our knobs off. Let's see. I need a. I don't think I can get under them. Oh, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Oh, these are splined. Okay. So, let's see. That one's pointing up. That one was pointing up. But we can... We can work on that. Just by turning them all the way down and lining them up. Ooh, this one doesn't want to come up. Come on. Oh, jeez. I don't want to... There we go. I think I got it. Yeah. Ah, it's blind. And now we have nuts. Nuts holding the poten potentiometers down. But you know, when I started working on this crap, <laughs> I call everything crap, so, <laughs> but it's not. When I started working on this, on game systems and that, I didn't know nothing. Not a thing about repairing any of them. And I know some people are probably out there, you still don't know anything about them. Yeah, that, that's fine. You know, I don't care. All right, now and this looks like fun. Those are little switches. Now, which one 
was A and which one was B. Let's see if we put that back up. Okay. This one right here is A. And she's been stuck down for quite a while and have been tried. You can see the how that kind of looks burnt. And what that is is the the carbon or whatever it is on the back side of these membrane switches is stuck all in there from being stuck down or something being spilled on this. I'm going to say something was spilled on it because you can see the back you up a little you can see the staining under the yeah look at the staining under our turbo switch or turbo whatever and all the staining around everything so I know that that potentiometer is going to need to be cleaned we're going to need to clean up that potentiometer, uh, all of our, should be the same, should be a set, or two sets of wires, and they should all be the you know, same, you know, white, white, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, red, brown, brown. So that should be one controller, one player one and player two. Yep, player one, player two. So I'm thinking that we need to, we can probably clean this all up, and get it spotless. Same with our, should take that out so we can clean that whole case up. And we can test our wires two for in for player one and player two and make sure those are working. A couple LEDs. These are all just switch switches. Those are push push button. And these are slides. And another push button. But yeah, we can get this all cleaned up. Maybe get our potentiometer cleaned out. We'll clean them both since we're this far. Test all our wires. And I think I'll see if I can't get the joystick. I'd like to get that joystick the hell out of there. This, I'm not sure how the knob comes off, if it's just screwed on or or what. Hopefully, yeah, it's just screwed on. I can unscrew that. Long-winded little bucker. <sighs> okay. And we can take our take the joystick completely out of it and clean the case up real nice even though we got some rust on our bottom plate but we may see if there's anything in here that we can service while we're in here I got you, I gotta get you put back in your height chair so I can Focus up. There you go. So I can get this joystick out of here. Just four screws. 
poor Phillips. You know, we may, might get lucky in just a good cleaning. May revive it. And we'll test our wires, like I said, and make sure that we have connections from player one and player two all the way through. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Ah, that spring can stay right on there. We have. Yeah, membrane switches. It just sits on that ball and spring. And when you rock it back and forth, it pushes down on these on the membranes. Can we go to go any further? Uh, let's like there's a little there's a clip on either side holding this black down. I don't wanna I don't wanna break either one of them off. There we are. Yeah. See just membrane switches. <laughs> That's nice and clean. plate and that's just white dust from plastic on plastic okay we got everything pulled apart we can wash that and that uh, let's Let's wash up all of our our buttons. Uh, membrane switches, I can we can wipe them off with alcohol. Uh, our board will use contact cleaner on it and get it cleaned up. And hopefully we can bring this guy back. Uh, let's see. Revision H. Hmm. So that one's been revised a time or two. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna clean some stuff up, and we'll get and clean our. Uh, circuit board or potentiometer up and then after that after I get it all dried off from the contact cleaner and that will test wiring
Okay, I got my multimeter here set on. Diode test or continuity, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to hook up some alligator clamps, test leads on my on my leads, so I can just clip this on the white, and we'll use the white as our black. Now we got to figure out which one of these is player one and what's player two. There's a white stripe on a, on one, but uh, neither one. They're not marked, just branded Nintendo. And so we're just gonna have to kind of poke and hope. We're on. We're testing. I think that's player two. Yeah, player two. Uh, let's go with just the solid. Mm, have some resistance, but that could be just because we're checking something on the board as well. Alright, there it is. Okay. So the white stripe is going to be player two. Okay, the white is good. Now we'll see if we can find our yellow. There's our yellow. It's good. Let's go with our orange. Hmm. There's our orange. Now our red. Some resistance there, but like I said, probably testing something on the circuit board as well. There's our red. And now brown. And there's brown. Okay, so let's see how they do that. You have brown is the one up on the nose by itself. There's seven, seven pins here, but only five wires that we're using. So that's going to be the brown. Let's Okay, the red was the one I was really kind of questioning if we had red. Nothing. There's nothing in those two. Hmm. I don't see anything for our red. There's our orange. Okay, and that should be yellow right there. Or yellow. We know that one. That one. Have some, nothing. Hmm. Red and yellow, I'm kind of questioning now. There's, there's white. Hmm. Wonder if the, any of those share. Let's let's try our yellow again. We know this is white, and that one's brown. Brown and white. Okay, so this, if it's that this should be our 
or yellow. That one right there should be our yellow. Are we getting anything? See that one? It's nothing. There's the yellow up there. Okay, see that's the thing. I was wondering if if they're shared. If some of these are shared. What happened? Oh. Where is... Okay, two. I lost my... There it is. Come here. God. Had me all screwed up there. So this is yellow on player one. So let's see something here. This is, this should be white. Or is that the brown? That's the brown. Player two. And brown player one. Okay, so some of these are shared. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> so that's brown on there and should be brown on here. Yes. Okay, the white is shared, which is white is this bottom one here. Yep. And here. Yes. Okay, so yellow. White. See, this should be yellow. That's player two. Yellow on player one. Orange. Should be player two. Should be this one here. Yes, but not this one. It is. So that one is shared. There's only a couple of these that actually do different things, I think. So this should be red player on that one. Right. All right. So red, if red is on this one, on player two, or player one, oops, this one here, yes, and no. Orange on player one is that one. Yellow, player one. Let's see, we got brown. Yellow should be, all right, right there, yeah. Okay, so our cords are good. Everything to our board is good. God, I, uh, after a while, it gets, gets kind of, kind of goofy. You have to use your head for more than just a hat rack. All right, so our cord is good. We got our board all cleaned up. Our uh, variable resistors, those are good. Switches are all clean. Got our everything's clean. Except, now all I have to do is I need to clean up all of our little memory switches. Uh, I know you've watched me do these before too. All I'm going to do is take a 
cotton bud on a stick and clean them up with some alcohol and we'll get them ready to go all right the hardest part about this is going to be getting this joystick put back together because it's kind of you have to make sure that these are on your membrane switches now does that yes that'll only go down in there one way and that lines everything up okay good and the screw screw holes will index the board and everything okay uh, normally when you have nylon on nylon you don't need any grease but as much as this one is scratched up on the on the ball and on the inside I am going to put a little grease on it to, to kind of help it along uh, let's see I need something to set this on so I can drop that joystick down in it and work on it okay I just have the, the casing suspended by a, a little pot here that way we can work on this without it flopping all over the place alright and then let's see that goes on that's I think it was like that and then you have your little membranes I think actually I think an easier way to do this would be let's, let's slide that up out of the way. Come here, cool. Quit running away from me. take and get our membrane switches put down exactly where they need to be yep snap that together there's one spot cut out for your cord to come through you can see it right there so you know that only goes on that way. We'll take our little pot. I guess now we can say we have a pot to to piss in. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna 
leave that right on there. I think that's going to make it a little easier for everything. Let's see, now we need to, we have six, six switches we got to put in. Have a couple membrane and one one slider and two pushes. So we need to figure out. Okay, that's slider at the top. Okay, now the three push buttons. You can see, let's see, do, 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 right under the turbos. And push button, push button, and then let's see, then we have membrane, membrane and push button right there then we have our two A and B these are slotted so they those little they slide right down on there okay the big ones See now the fun part. That one will be easy. Those two will be easy to do. Those ones will sit right there and behave. These ones, nothing really. Okay, yeah, there's a little little indentation. It has a lip on it and it'll fit right over. There's a protruding. And we're gonna face them just like that. Just like everything else. We're gonna keep them kind of square. It's being held up. Something's holding us out. board's not going down flush up against everything. Let's okay, I'll bet that our on off. Let's see. Let's push that all the way over and line him up. Let's see if that see if that does it. That got it. That was just that slide switch wasn't in the right place, in the right position to fall down inside. 
the hole. Yeah, I know. we can get her put back together. Now we have this one which has a ground on it that goes on that leg so it'll ground to the bottom plate. You know, a lot of times you don't have to make this stuff difficult. A lot of this older stuff is just a matter of cleaning, <clears throat> getting stuff cleaned up, and it'll work again just from over time. A lot of this stuff doesn't get used like it used to. So if it's, if it's not getting used, if it's not getting used, it's going to get dirty. A lot of this stuff, you know, just from being used, keeps it uh, clean. Stuff rubbing together, it'll clean, kind of clean itself. All right, before we get everything all put back together, I need to get us a NES hooked up so we can test it and see if we did any good. Okay, I'll get a setup. Okay, got us a NES setup here. Uh, this one's ready to go. I uh, just put a 72 pin game connector in that one and got it all cleaned up so I know it's working. Now I'm still not sure white line or black is, you know, which one is one and two. Which one is one and which one is two. So I'm just going to kind of, okay, up. So we're just going to kind of guess here and and say that the black is our number one. Uh, let's see, I got a little Godzilla here. Let's see, let's, let's go with one player first. Uh, let's see. Still no start. Right as one. Okay. One player. There's start. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, new game. The Earth. If you've ever played this, this is a kind of a kind of a weird game. Then press A. Okay, A works. 
That's Mothra. Not going to move. <laughs> uh, let's see. I never understood this. If finished moving, press A. Yeah, finish moving for okay. okay. There we go. Joystick works good. I just I just suck at this game, so bear with me. Nah. Okay, let's let's try turning up turbo. Let's see what turbo does. There you go. Okay, that's... Uh, that mute. That turbo on. Off. Okay, now it's on turbo. Okay, you can slow it down. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we need to check here? It goes up and down, back, forward, up and down. Uh... Okay. Let's put it on two player. It doesn't work on two player. Or am I missing something here? Okay, I'm back on one player. I got a stuck button. It's a slow button. Okay, I need to work on the slow button. Okay, see. Okay, let's, let's turn it off. Put it on two player. Mm -mm. Can't get two player to work. Let's make sure I had that plugged in right the first time. Two player. Turn it on. Nope. Hmm. 
All right. Okay, so we have figured out that the white stripe is is player one, and the black, the solid, is player two. We can get it to work on player one. If we just have it selected on player one, okay. But if we put it on player two, nothing works. Okay. So let's take a look and see if we have a problem with our player, our button here. Maybe it's our uh, player one and player two switch. Okay, right now I am just going to do something easy to see if we can fix the problem. And I am just going to go through and resolder all of our all of our joints for our switch just to make sure that we don't have you know I'm sure that switch gets used an awful lot gets hammered on so we're just going to make sure that maybe we didn't have a cold solder joint and I'm going to go through here and I'm going to resolder solder every one of our wires so if you remember we tested the wires at the top but not on the bottom side Come on. So it could still be that we have a loose connection down here, too. This is something easy you can do, too, if, if you have soldering iron. Is to just check. Oh, come on. to just quickly check those by putting a little solder on them and heating them up okay we'll leave that on two player I'll let you, if it if it's working I'll, I'll let you know but I'm not that back on one okay yep single player is working hmm because if you put it on two player or is that player one player two oh man <sighs> I'm wondering now I'm sure somebody has already already said it that if you're playing a two-player game when you go to play the second player you have to switch this over so it goes to player two three I'll bet that's how this works because you I don't Let's see, last game, password game. All right, let me let me test that theory, and I'll t I'll bring you back when I figure it out. Okay, had to find a two-player game, so I just put Mario and Duck Hunt in. Okay, now, see, I was trying to select with the joystick, you know, down to two-player, and I thought maybe there was something wrong with my player two port, so I grabbed a regular NES controller and nope the controller port on number two is working 
let's see, if you hit start, it takes you back. Now you hit, if you hit select, now it'll go down to two player and you can hit start. Yep. That doesn't look good. There we go. My court, my game's a little dirty. Okay, we can move forward and do all of our, all of our little Mario stuff. Now, when you go to player two, which is Luigi, you have to switch this over to player two, and now, now he works. Kind of liking this joystick. Takes some getting used to, especially uh, jumping, I'll bet jumping after the... Jumping after the... That flag there at the end. All right, so now we know this is working. We did get it all straightened out. Uh, the only thing I think that was wrong with it was just the A button was stuck and it just needed to clean up really bad. So I'm gonna finish getting this put together and that way we can get this uh, video finished up so it's not two hours long. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, now we have a pretty nice little Nintendo NES Advantage controller. Like I mentioned earlier, it does have a crack in the case here, and, uh, and the bottom's a little, little rusty, but she cleaned up really nice. Uh, cord cleaned up really good. She's nice and bright now. Uh, a little bit of pink on it. <laughs> Looks like Pepto. But now, if you like using these, you know, this is great. I don't mind the joysticks. I like D-pad better. I played around with this for a little bit more. And like I said, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I guess uh, when I play NES, I want just a regular D-pad. But, you know, that's personal preference, I guess. Whatever you like. So, yeah. So, there are not much to them. Not too hard to get cleaned up and get them fixed. Uh, we just had a problem with our A button being stuck down. I did check on that slow button. It just uh, needed a, a move that turned over and put back in. So it's fine now. Turbo, everything works on it. And just remember that you have to have a two-player game to play to use this. And player one controls the start and select and all that. And then when you die, when player one is killed off then you have to turn push it over to player two and then player two works wasn't sure how it worked and I just had to mess around with it and figure it out myself 
So I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. I enjoy working on these old retro game systems and, and accessories. And don't forget about my Amazon link. If you go to my Amazon link down below and go to Amazon and search out anything that you are looking for and purchase something from Amazon, I get a small tip and it helps the channel out. And you know what else helps the channel? Hit the like button. Make sure you hit the like button. That helps the channel and helps the algorithm see that people are watching my video and they are, they are enjoying it. So until next time, hopefully it's a little warmer. See ya.